Hey Davis and gents, I'm coming to you with a shabby chic project. I am involved in a swap with Bridget, who is Shoe Princess One here on YouTube. Hey girlfriend. And uh, we have um, a few item type swaps. So it, a couple of them are bigger swaps. So I'm gonna break them up into different videos. So this one right here is a wooden tray. Both um, her and I decided to go ahead and do a swap on a wooden tray. And um, with uh, we didn't give each other each other any rules, anything like that. We both love each other's work, so we had free range to go crazy with whatever we wanted. I do know that she is a fan of Shabby Chic, so I took that into consideration. I'm all over the board. I love Shabby Chic. I love vintage. It happens to be like my number one, but I love a little of everything. So I love to be surprised to see with whatever another person creates. But anywho, so this tray I purchased from Michaels. Um, I purchased it in a package of two. They didn't sell them individually. So I went ahead and spray painted. I did not use paper. So you can see right here, it is um, a pink spray. And then I've also used um, the glitter spray that I've showed in previous videos. I have like a teal color. So you see all that beautiful shimmer. That is a spray paint. And I did that all over the tray. And let me go ahead and show you the spray paint because I do have people that ask what spray paint I, oh, I put it up. Hold on just a second. Okay, they're both Krylon paints. Ugh. One is right here, chalky finish. It's a Bonet pink. So it gives a beautiful, like, you know, like it says, a chalky finish. This one right here is glitter shimmer perfectly pink and they both coordinate with one another now michaels is where i'm purchasing them from they have um probably like four different sets of colors this is my second set that coordinate with a chalk paint and a glitter paint so there are a couple more that i want to get um they do not get sold together they're, they're expensive so i i use a coupon i think the the glitter one is more expensive than the big chalky paint so Anywho, that's the paint that I used and I did the whole thing inside and out. And then I went ahead and I used some trim. So I used this pretty trim right here and then there's one right there which is kind of like an eyelet trim. And then I have this really pretty pink one in the back and I have it going, oops, all the way around. This is meant for it to just sit and look pretty somewhere. It, it was not meant to have any kind of functionality to it. So I will be sending um, an easel to go along with it so that she can put it somewhere in her craft space. I already have a spot for hers in my living room. <laughs> so I am super pumped about getting it. Okay, and this right here is um, a really beautiful, I don't know if it's like a place setting, but it's huge. It covers this whole section. So I did it at an angle and that is what is, this right here they're not doilies it's part of the same little placemat type thing and then right here i have a really beautiful bling in the corner i have this really big trim it goes all the way from this side and then i have it up top and it goes all the way on the other side as well this right here is from trezor's deluxe when i designed for the store these are leftover pieces so you can see right here all the beautiful flowers that are up top so I have it coordinating this way and equal on the other side. I wanted to bust out my good stuff that I've been holding on to <laughs> and just finally just start using it. Okay, and then right here, let me move my, okay. So right here, you see this, it says sweet. This is a Prima metal piece. I purchased this when I went to the outlet and it's a bronze color naturally. And what I do when I don't want something to have like it's perfect finish to it because that's just the vintage part in me. I just grab one of these kind of brushes and then I dip it in paint and then I just like do this. I just do it like this so that it just has like a, a speckled finish to it and that you can still see some of the color underneath. And I was, it was meant to look imperfect. It was not meant to look perfect like, oh, I don't want to see any piece of the metal. No, that's not my intention at all. I wanted it to have that look and I just did that all the way up top. I do this a lot. And, um, and then I put stickles. 
on top. So that's where you see the little glittery stuff from. And I adhered this with E6000 onto the wood. Do not ever use hot glue because it will stick on for just the moment. So I'm hoping this makes its travels um, all the way to uh, Jersey. And uh, <laughs> so, and then I put some of these beautiful pieces right here. And these are also from Trezor's Deluxe. And then I have really beautiful baby's breath, which is the dried baby's breath. So it's not plastic, it's the real dried kind. And then I have shooting pearls, pink ones, that are peeking out going this way. And then I have this really pretty pearl trim that goes all the way around, like that. So I have it laying to where, you know, to, you know, like if and back in the day, you had a, a pearl necklace, a really beautiful long one, you just threw it in your, and that's kind of like how it laid type of look, I guess. And I have random little pearls placed in different spots. And I have the same style going this way. So you'll see that I do have the blings in this side as well. The shooting pearls, the baby's breath. I also have this piece right here. It's just, I literally only have two pieces left. And um, this is also from Trezor's. This was one of my absolute favorites that um, was from the store. And I... Uh, went ahead and used both of those pieces okay and then right here you'll see these are two leaves that i altered or leaves feathers so they once looked like well i don't have any more of that color because i used them all so i did a bunch of these a while ago where i took actual feathers um and i purchased them i believe from michael's or hobby lobby and then what i did is i got paint mixed it with a little water and then i just colored the ends of the leaves or the feathers and then i went ahead and i added some um, glitter and some little uh, micro beads at the very end so these are you know actual real i only did the one side so i made a bunch of them and um and i gifted some and i only had a few of them left so i used them in this project because i do love um that look so it was of cream colors which actually went perfect so I have a couple of those there. I have this really beautiful frame that was once silver. I did the same technique with this brush. And I also, there you go, you can see, um, but this one I wanted to cover more so and not have to see the metal inside because this was um, a silver color. But it has like up close, you'll see kind of like the speckles of it and that's what I like. And then um, I used Glimmer Mist and you can see there's a lot of gold shine to it and then this right here is awesome i went to the expo where did i put those books oh here we go. i went to the expo the last one and um i went to authentic which they are like one of my top three favorites and i purchased these they were only a dollar and it comes with a bunch of like these little type sayings with little type frames see if I can scan through so it's just like things like that you, these are perfect to put inside of frames or tuck in spots and stuff like that so this is what I um I chose to use this one I was I wish I could have captured the whole thing but the frame wasn't gonna allow it so my main focus was gonna be this section so that's what I did okay so I put that in the middle and then these flowers this one this one and the back one right there i made those flowers and i used prima um, petals that looked like this back when prima had their warehouse sale um i bought a couple of these boxes and i really really wish i would have bought a lot more because these they come all crumpled up looking like this in different directions so it's perfect when you're making because it almost looks like a gardenia and um when you're making these flowers and i love it how it came out so i'm pretty much don't have enough to make a flower so i did this one and i put a beautiful little pearl um center i did the same with this one love how it came out it's so pretty and then i have this beautiful flower here that was gifted in um, from a swap that i did a long time ago i've been holding on to this for forever that could have been gosh i think it might have been elizabeth um and I held on to it. So it's time to let the stuff go, ladies. Because <laughs> I can't get in with the new if I can't get the old out. So I started using it up. Then I put two doves. I have a dove here and a dove there. Then I made these really pretty fabric flowers here. It's like a rosebud looking. And then another one here. 
and then this right here is the last flower and then I have a flower a, a bling in the center and then right here I did this is a prima um, it's a feathered flower but um, so you can see it better this way it stand it literally stands up like that kind of in a corner so you could never lay this flat it it uh, doesn't work the way it was created so it's like all right we'll just add a pop of color and um, put that in the back I love that look and then of course you can see the pearls you know going all the way through and then this is just the uh, the remaining I have this hanging loosely like I said I only um, adhered this part here but not this because I just didn't want things you know to flap over so I love how it just hangs there so this is my swap for Bridget I hope you love it girl I had a blast creating it I totally like knocked this out. I literally spray painted it the night before and I I killed it the next day and got it out. I had that mojo so I had to run with it. <laughs> and it's funny because you would, you know, you have to create these things individually so it takes time. You know, oh, and these right here, these really beautiful pink flowers are from LA. So I have those there and I also have them right here. So I absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you to all my new subscribers. And thank you to all my OG subscribers <laughs> who stick it out and who watch my video. And those of you that um, comment on my videos, thank you so much for taking the time to do that. I appreciate it. And um, I will be back soon because like I said, I have um, a few more things that are a part of our swap to do. So stay tuned. Uh, you guys have an amazing and blessed day and I will see you soon. Bye.